All right. So negations of quantifiers is, is what I want to mention to you next here. Words like some, well, none, all. Those are the three we'll mainly hit here. Negating those guys. Uh, for example, if I said uh, <coughs> all dogs have fleas, what would you say negation wise that would be? What would the negation of that be? All dogs have fleas. Not all dogs have fleas. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not uh, debating on the statement. Just how would you negate it? Not all dogs have fleas. Most people would say, what about no dogs have fleas? Um, other possibilities possibly you might be thinking but um, <clears throat> well let's just let's let's look at a scenario um, <clears throat> we'll come back we'll come back to this turns out one of them is right one of them is wrong but um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's say we've got um, three groups of people and what I'm I think this is what they go through in the book but I wanted to go through it with you here just to kind of explain explain ourselves or explain the reasoning behind it. Um, let's think about uh, groups of people and just to pick out a name, think about the names of people being Mary. Okay? Let's say, uh, let's, let's try to make groups of all scenarios. Group A, well, let's say group A has all of them named Mary. Mary A, B, and C. Okay? All of them are named Mary. Okay? Group B, let's say, well, one of them's named Mary, but then we have a Jill and a, um, what would be another one? Um, Barbara? Okay? So, some of them are named Mary and some of them are are not named Mary. I mean, we could do more than three, but... So, yeah, that one has some of them are, some of them aren't. And then group C, what would be one other group we might need to consider? How about all of them are not named Mary, right? Um, <clears throat> let's say uh, Kathy, Denise, and Evelyn. All right. So that kind of is representative of all possibilities of groups all right. that could happen associated with the name Mary. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the reason I do that is, is so we can look at um, some negation possibilities here because if I make the all statement, all are named Mary. Well, that is certainly true in group A. So I'm going to do A, B, and C here, truth, truth values. In group A, that's true, isn't it? All of them are named Mary. But what about group B? Are all of them named Mary in group B? No, so that's false. And then all of them are named Mary in group C, obviously. That's false, okay? To be a negation then of this, it has to be opposite in all cases. So if I have a negation, what is it going to be across the board here? If the negation is going to be false, true, true, isn't it? And if you look at none, none are named Mary or no person is named Mary, let's just see if that's a negation. That was one of my... And that's If I ask this question on the test, I'm going to get 
if I put down all the null statement, I'm going to get a no statement. But let's see <laughs> if it's true, if it's truly a negation. None are named Mary. Are none of them named Mary in group A? Nope. That's false. None of them are named Mary in group B. That's false. None of them are named Mary in group C. No, that's true. Fine. Is it negation? Why not? It's not opposite. It's not opposite in all cases. It's opposite here. It's opposite here, but it's not opposite here. That's why we say a negation has to be opposite in every, every case. If it's not opposite in every case, it's not a true negation, you see. So no, this is not a none or no does not negate all. So you just can't change that over to none. Um, <clears throat> now, it was suggested that we go with not all or name Mary. And let's see what that is. So in group A, none, not all of them are named Mary. That's false. They all are named Mary. In group B, not all of them are named Mary. That's true, because not all of them are named Mary. In group C, not all of them are named Mary. That's true, too. So you notice, yeah, that is a true negation, because get rid of that. You got true, and then you got false for the not all. You got false on all, you got true on not all. False, that one is. A true negation. Does it make a difference? Yes. Yes. It has to be opposite for each column. Yeah. In that order. Mm -hmm. In that order. Yep. Yeah. So you have to do the all and then and not all. And then yes. So back to our uh, original problem. This one is not a negation because no or none, same thing, does not negate all. Not all does negate. So really that gets back to what we were saying. To negate all, just put the word not in front. Best thing to do. Okay, now we're going to kill several birds with one stone here, so to speak. Uh, let's talk about the other quantifiers. Let's uh, look at some are named Mary. So we saw these two are negations. Let's see about some are named Mary. Some are named Mary, all right? So are some of them named Mary on group A? Yeah, some of them are named Mary. Some of them are named Mary in group B? Yeah, there's some of them are. And then some of them are named Mary in group C? No, that's false. Okay. Do you notice here anything about that? Does that negate anything up there? Is that opposite of anything up there? Well, it's not opposite of this one because you got true and true. It's not opposite there. However, look at this. None is false, some is true. None is false, some is true. None is true, some is false. What does that tell you? Well, that telling us these are negations. Uh-huh. There's, yeah, there's for every quantifier, there's a negation. None is negated by some. None is negated by some. Or no, none or no, okay? Now, <clears throat> so... Some are named Mary. Um, is is really a tricky one too, because here's the thing, you know, a lot of times we say put in the word not and you'll negate it. Well, let's look at putting in the word not here because that's a lot of times uh, when I ask on a test, that's what people want to try. But let's see if that. Let's say I put the word not here. Some are, name, are not named Mary. Let's see if that does negate 
that uh, phrase there. Okay, some are not named Mary here. Some of them are not named Mary. False. Some of them are not named Mary in B. That's true. And some of them are not named Mary in C. That's true. Okay. So just looking at these two, are these negations? Nope. Why not? They're not opposite. This one is true. This one is true. They're, they're the same for group B. So they're not opposite in all cases. So, conclusion. Here's, here's kind of the rundown here. All statements, meaning the word all in them, negated by either doing not all or, and I haven't mentioned this, but <clears throat> yeah, this did not negate some, but do you notice here what it does negate? Notice false, true, true, that's the exact opposite of true, false, false. Opposite in all cases. So it turns out all is negated by some or not. Or some do not or whatever the verb needs to be. Okay? So that not all dogs, I mean, all dogs have fleas. Another way you can negate it is by using Some dogs do not have fleas. See that? Also negate. I mean, that's probably not the way you usually do it, but if that was one of the choices, then that would negate that. All dogs, some do not. That negates all. Like I said, that's probably not the way we usually go with it, but okay. So anyway... All statements are neg negated either by, sorry, not all or some are not, or some do not, or whatever the verb needs to be. Okay? No statements. How are those negated? Well, we said no statements are negated by what? Some statements. Changing the no to some. No or none, I should. Depends on the phraseology there. If it's a no or if it's a none statement, none of them are named Mary, no dogs have fleas. Let's just do that one. No dogs have fleas. What's the negation? No is negated by some. Some dogs have fleas is the negation. Okay. <clears throat> and then last but not least, some statements be the other scenario. Which really the other covers it, but well, some and no are opposite. So to negate some statements, those are negated by no statements. Uh, <clears throat> for example, Some days are long. <laughs> What's the negation? Change the no to some. I mean, some to no. Okay. No days are long. That says exactly the opposite. Okay. All right. So, anyway, a little tricky on the, the quantifiers, but. 
try to remember uh, try to remember those.